guys, it's Dr. Ray here coming at you with another video and I know in the last video I said that the animal farm will be coming out on February 1st. If you have been paying attention to um, the animal farm telegram, um, you'd know that it's um, been delayed. So it'll actually be launching um, this coming Thursday um, and that is when things will get going. So what I wanted to talk about today is possible strategies that you may consider uh, utilizing when a farm like this opens okay but before we get into that like I always want to say I don't give financial advice okay I'm just here to provide ideas thoughts um, and things that you can then take away and go make your own decisions because ultimately it's your bags it's your dollars it's your decisions okay anything out there on the internet you should take with a grain of salt you should use it for educational purposes to further enhance and develop your own trading and investing strategies and then go from there okay because at the end of the day if something goes wrong if you make the wrong choice if you get rugged your problem bro you know that's just the reality okay because you know content producers out there are making videos making tweets and then they go and they manage their own portfolios and they're making their own decisions right and they're not they're not looking for answers from other people they're making their own decisions so so don't put that out there again guys if you enjoy my content if you want alpha the fastest follow me on twitter follow me on telegram i'm not always going to be making videos about animal farm okay the reality right now is the market is boring okay so i'm making making content on the upcoming launch of a project that I'm most excited for right now, which is Animal Farm. Okay, but going forward, there's gonna be a lot more content. We're gonna go into a lot more things, um, DeFi-based strategies, um, you know, investment strategies. That again are just you know, not not advice, but things that you can maybe take away and and make better decisions based on using you know the things that I've learned. Okay, we're also gonna talk a lot about NFTs because NFTs is something I've been doing a lot of since last year, and this last month has been big for NFT, so that's something we're going to talk about too, okay? But for now, we're going to talk about Animal Farm because that's coming out on Thursday, okay? So let's get into it. So, like I said before, this is Manor Farm, okay? Um, basically, um, this is the L1, and the as it says here, Animal Farm migration is in process, so that is the L2. You've, if, you're, if you're not completely clear as to what's going to happen when this launches, I suggest you go and watch my previous video where we go over, you know, the process of the conversion from Manor Farm to Animal Farm. So the process of conversion from the L1, so Layer 1 Manor Farm, to the L2, Layer 2 Animal Farm, okay? Watch my previous video, okay? So Animal Farm, how do you approach a farm like this, okay? What sort of strategies could you consider employing, okay, when you are approaching a farm of this type, okay? so. What I want to quickly go over again is what will happen at launch. So remember, at launch, there will be two native tokens. That is the dog token and the pig token. Okay, so when we say native assets or native tokens, it's referring to the in-house token, the main token of that project. So when a project is coming out, their own token, their own token will be referred to as a in-house token or a native token by many individuals. Okay, so that is what we are referring to. All other assets are non-native tokens, okay? So when this launches, when Animal Farm launches, there will be a pig token and a dog token. Here we see Rev, because Rev is for the Layer 1 Manor Farm. But you'll see there will be, um, okay, you can't see it here, but there will be a pig's token and the dog's token, okay? So what will happen is when, when launch happens, you will have, um, you'll have, um, farms okay and those farms will have different lps okay liquidity pairs so you'll have pairs with the dogs token and then you'll have regular lps right that'll have things like bitcoin paired with eth usdc paired with whatever bnb you'll have all sorts of different pools okay so so let's get okay so let's get into the strategies okay so what sort of strategies can you employ okay so and, and th this is not just applicable to Animal Farm. This can be applicable to any sort of farm out there, okay? So you have strategies where you target the native assets. So you're targeting um, either the pig token, right? 
um, and the dog token, right? So these are the native tokens, right? So you, you can have strategies that target this, okay? So what sort of strategies can we employ for that? Well, one strategy could be you want to purchase these, right? So how do we purchase these? Well, the obvious way to approach anything like this is you want to get these the cheapest price possible. So you get them in a pre-sale, okay? Now, pre-sale has already been completed, so you're not going to be able to compete um, in the pigs or dog token pre-sale, okay? But that's one strategy. You target these, try and get them at the, at the cheapest price. What's another way you can buy them? Well, you buy them at launch. So if you know what you're doing, right, you can buy them as soon as it launches. So if this is the chart, you know, and you know you have something like this, the coin comes out, maybe it comes down, maybe it goes back up. One strategy you can employ is you try and buy it here as cheap as possible. Because if you can buy it down here, you know, you're almost certainly always gonna be in profit. Maybe, maybe, right? There are some circumstances where projects can go below their pre-sale price, right? Or their initial listing price. Okay. But remember, this this can be difficult. Okay, this can be difficult. Why? Well, it can be difficult because everyone else wants to buy this cheap as well right bots are going to come in and buy this cheap as well so unless you really know what you are doing you should not attempt this okay if you do want to if you do know what you're doing and you want to take a risk you can try and buy this right at launch what happens if we don't know what we're doing and we buy a token like this at launch okay very risky why okay so typically what will happen for almost every coin in the very first few minutes right so we're looking at so remember this chart is going to be a this is not a long-term chart this chart here is a couple minutes okay so in the in the first few minutes what will happen is the coin will list at a starting price and let's say the starting price is right here okay and let's say the pre-sale price is right here okay none of this is to scale this is just to show an example what will happen and this happens in every single in almost every single coin this is what happens so the coin lists at this price and the price goes up right and then it crashes down and then it figures out where it wants to go so it can either come up or you know maybe it'll go down or, or maybe it'll go sideways something right what's happening right here well what's happening right here is you have bots that are buying right here okay and they're selling right here okay the bots they buy quickly and they sell quickly so if you don't know what you're doing right you could end up buying right up here because you're too slow and what happens well these bots they sell on you and now you're screwed now the price is down here maybe this is an artificially elevated price because these bots really pumped the price up <clears throat> and and the price is never actually meant to get this high right maybe you have a chart that looks like this <coughs> right the bots buy here the price goes up super super high okay and then it comes down to a more normal price right and it kind of comes up like this and maybe this is actually very high maybe this is a high price but on the chart you have something that looks like this because the bots really really mess with the chart right and if you're really unlucky you can end up buying here i've seen this with projects before i've seen this with, with many projects even big projects so it's very risky to do this unless you know what you're doing but if you know what you're doing this is one strategy okay now that is what i call a loss strategy so either you're going for that strategy or you're not going for that strategy plain and simple okay plain and simple what you do afterwards with those coins is up to you you could sell those coins if you're very heavily in profit or you can use those coins and participate in the ecosystem okay so what's a different way that we can um, acquire acquire these kinds of coins okay so another way that we can acquire pigs and dogs tokens is we simply participate in the ecosystem so maybe we buy the coins Maybe we have coins from pre-sale. Maybe we know how to snipe them. Maybe we wait for a dip and we buy them. Now we have coins. Now we can participate in the ecosystem. So what's one strategy we can employ? Okay. So one strategy we can employ is farming, right? We want to participate in the ecosystem. So how do we how do we participate in the animal farm ecosystem? Well, if you have pig tokens, so whether you snipe them or bought them or have them from a pre-sale, whatever it is, I don't care, you have these tokens, okay? So you can take these tokens and you can stake them in the pig pens. We'll call this the pig pen, right? This is the this is the pig pen, okay? So when you're staking in the pig pen, you will earn emissions, and those emissions are in the forms of dollars, BUSD. So by you taking your pig token and staking it in the pig pen, you'll earn emissions automatically. That's one strategy you could employ. Another strategy you can employ is, like I said, is you just sell these tokens. You got the tokens, maybe you got them for cheap, maybe you bought them at a dip, they have appreciated in price, you just sell them, 
right? That's one other strategy, okay? Remember, I'm not here to tell you what to do, and I'm not here to tell you what the right decision is because no one can tell you what the right decision is. I don't know what the right decision is. You could buy these and hold these, and they may not go up in value. I don't know. You could buy them and hold them, and they could go up a lot, right? Again, I don't know. I don't care. I'm not here to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm here to just tell you potential strategies. You go make the decision. You research the project. You build your own conviction in the project and decide what you want to do, okay? So let's say you have dog tokens. What are things you can do with dog tokens, okay? Well, you can stake the dog tokens. You can farm with them. So you pair them with BUSD, pair them with BNB, make it a liquidity pair, and then you farm with the dog tokens. So you take the dog tokens, and you stake those dog tokens in the farming pools, right? And what do you earn? Well, you earn pigs, okay? So you earn pigs. And like I said previously, you could take these and stake them and earn BUSD, or you could just sell them, right? Whatever you want to do is totally up to you, okay? Other strategy. Well, let's say, you know, let's say you're not comfortable with buying these tokens because you're you're afraid of, you know, whether the price can go up or down. You don't know. It, it is a native token. They are considered more risky, and maybe you're just, you know, maybe you're more risk adverse. So what's a different strategy you can take? Okay. So a different strategy you can take is you take um, other LPs, okay? non-native LPs. So maybe that is uh, Bitcoin, maybe that's Ethereum, and you pair them together, maybe it's BNB, other assets, and you stake them, okay, in the farming pools, okay? And what do you make? Well, you earn dogs tokens, right? And again, you could take the dogs tokens and stake them and farm pigs tokens, or you could just sell them, right? This is free money now. These are free tokens, so you could just sell them. That's one thing you could do, one strategy, right? So ultimately, what I'll tell you is there are a lot of strategies that you can employ when it comes to these farms. There are a ton. You have to decide, firstly, what you are comfortable with. Everybody is different, okay? Like I've shown here, there's many different strategies that you can employ, okay? You should not do them all. You should not do what someone else tells you to do. There's a reason for that, okay? If you are doing what someone else tells you to do, right, you are now reliant on them, right? This is investing. This is trading, right? It may not seem like it, but that's what it is, right? After this video or, you know, once the farm starts, you're on your own, right? You can ask other people what they're doing, but that's not good enough. You have to make your own decisions, right? So if you're, say, somebody who's very skittish and you're risk adverse maybe it's not a good strategy for you to be holding these tokens because maybe you don't know how to manage that risk right because maybe you're, what if you hold these tokens and they go down even temporarily right if you don't if you don't know how to manage that you may sell at the bottom right or what if these tokens are going down and you don't know when to cut loss right that's the problem so you need to know how to manage your assets and you need to learn what kind of trader you are Right, and that's something you'll learn over time, okay? So what am I going to be doing? I'm not going to tell you, right? Because as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant, right? I have my strategy. I already know what strategy I'm going to use. I know what sort of parameters I will activate that strategy at and what sort of parameters I'll pull away from that strategy and not use it. I even have contingencies that I've set up in, you know, what when I will not go into the farm. I will not pursue animal farm, even though I think it's going to be good. You always have to think, you know, what if, what if this, what if this is not performing well, right? You have to think of all these things beforehand, before you invest, before you buy in the presale, before you put your liquidity into the form. You have to think of all these things beforehand, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. I don't have much more to tell you. This is just to go over some general strategies for animal farm, some general strategies uh, for farming in general. If you are a, if you are a member of the drip community, there are other strategies you can employ. I'm not going to go into that because it's going to make it a little bit too complex for people that aren't part of that community. Okay, but I'm sure if you're part of the drip community, you already know what's up in terms of how you can employ those strategies in the animal farm ecosystem. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's it for now. Market in general is looking good. I'm looking forward to Thursday. My plan for Thursday. Once the animal farm launches, I will release a video quickly after that, just going over the farm because I want to get that information out quickly. But remember, Twitter first, Telegram first. That's where you're going to find information the quickest. That's where you're going to find information first. If you want alpha from me and you want a quick, follow me there. Okay, I really appreciate all the new followers. But please, guys, 
hit the like button hit the subscribe button it really helps me out it tells the telegram um sorry it tells the youtube algorithm you know what sort of videos you like it helps push that content out to other people and if you're someone who's part of the drip community part of the animal farm community it's going to help you know get more eyes on these products as well okay so do that do that for me hit the like button hit the subscribe button follow me on twitter okay and um i'll probably see you guys on thursday